Hi, this is uh, week 10 of my course. Um, as I talked about last week, this is filming week. So this is going to work a bit, tiny bit differently. You might notice I'm not in a Zoom kind of hellscape. I'm now in my bedroom uh, because it's going to be a weird week. Basically, instead of what I usually do with reflective logs, I will record it at the end of the week, mostly on Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, all in one. Uh, just because of the nature of this week, I'm going to be kind of recording here and there just because it's filming week and kind of talking about what I'm doing and then problem solving on the fly and then talking about it and then I'll do an overall wrap up. So this is the intro. I'm filming this currently on Tuesday, technically Tuesday, it's two in the morning, but technically Tuesday. Um, I'm planning to now film the Mr. Blue Side sequence. You might mention, you might um, remember way back in my production schedule, I was planning to shoot Wednesday, um, to film it all on Wednesday. Here's why the schedule's kind of changed. Firstly, um, Due to it being a college course, we actually need to get permission to not be on site for that. And I can't do that till Wednesday when I go into the college. So I realised that it might be better to film stuff on Wednesday, on Tuesday, so today, and then on Wednesday edit it. And then looking through my sequences, I realised that the one sequence that stood out the best kind of thing to edit, and it was the magical Mr. Blue's Mr. Blue Side sequence. This sequence is um, one on its own. Every other sequence kind of leads into each other. So from a filming perspective, I would have to have that connective tissue. Whereas this is the most single kind of thing. It's meant to be kind of that single intro. Two, it is a very VFX heavy one. Um, not a lot of the sequences have VFX, this has a lot of VFX. Why is this important? Because tomorrow, Wednesday, I can basically use that college day to complete all the VFX and edit it all. And three, it's an outdoor sequence. Outdoor sequences are going to be the most difficult because while I'm shooting the Discovery Center, I can't really use after three o'clock due to schools. So I have to film it during the day. And you know, outside does have its own problems. It's going to rain or stuff like that. Tomorrow, the weather, I checked it. Um, weather looks alright, so we're right on that. So tomorrow I'll be shooting the Mr. Blue Side sequence. This is going to be a complex sequence. Um, I will film an update tomorrow when I'm there. Um, for preparation for tomorrow, what I have done is I have built a schedule. A schedule, basically, that's um, broken up into the sections uh, by their storyboards. So the Mr. Blue's High Sequence 1A to 17A, Lithuanian Indoors 18A to 22A, Lithuanian Outdoors 23A to 25A. The idea is that it's broken up to, um, to five sections. The planned filming day that I'm going to basically work out on Wednesday. I'm going to go into the college and work out what days I can actually go out and film all this and stuff like that. Hopefully it'll be Thursday, Friday. Um, filmed, so this means that it has the raw footage being filmed, edited, VFX and final check. So edited basically means has it been edited to the music. So let's take Mr. Blue Side sequence. And Mr. Blue Side sequence is going to be edited to the song Mr. Blue Side. That means timed, color graded, sound effects, anything that's messy like that. And next sequence is VFX. This won't apply for all the sequences. Um, on top of my head, the sequences that I think it will apply for are Mr. Blue's high sequence, obviously for the sound waves. The Noah to One sequence, just because that's surrealism, that's going to be a lot of VFX, so I might add in some VFX. And then the Are You Happy sequence, because that's going to involve kinetic typography. Um, edited, and then finally, final checks will be just final checks going over it. So basically, I'm going to film the Mr. Blue's high sequence today, Tuesday, probably get three or four takes and Wednesday I'll edit together, complete it and have an MP4 and then when I come to do the other sequence I'm just going to slide all the MP4s together to create one final film that I usually wouldn't advise because then you have to time out music and um, make sure the colour grade is fine but this film every sequence has got a unique colour grade in each song so who really cares um, so it works so I will give updates tomorrow when I'm doing it uh, back to you Back to no, no, we won't be back to you, future Brendan. Be to you, future Brendan. All right. Um, I just got done shooting the first scene of uh, Mr. Blue Sky. Uh, it's currently Tuesday. Um, I think last night I recorded something, basically giving an intro to this. Uh, quick thing before we get into this: some of this stuff might be outside uh, because outside I'm recording it on my phone, so we get cleaner audio. Um, I think this just sort out the audio issue, but if it doesn't, then I kind of botched this. 
Um, so yeah, I just got filming the first thing. Uh, this was the most difficult sequence, planned out wise, because it's the most times ones, time ones. Um, I did have some issues. Issue number one is um, kind of an idiot. I didn't really realise that um, how long it takes me to walk. Uh, I'm actually a faster walker than I think, so all the timings were off. So um, I done it. Um, how I problem solved this issue was, I kind of slower walked and stuff like that, and um, I started it. And I used timers. So what I would do is basically. I would set off a timer for, say, let's say the sequence was eight seconds. I set off a timer for nine seconds, go on to the YouTube video that I'm using as the song, play it, so in that second it kind of, you know, over up to it, and then do the sequence, and then I would have the timer go off, and then I'd know when it's done. So that kind of problem solved it, and a lot of other, like, kind of tips and tricks I'd done was kind of, um, some sequences, the timing didn't really matter. I realised the last sequence when I fall over, I thought it would be more natural if I fell over not as perfectly timed, so I just kind of, sell it off at the point where it's just starting and fell over things like that um other issues i had i'm in a country park there's people around um i put up a public notice and stuff like that and it's not i'm in an area i chose deliberately an area where there is no one so i did have like one person who asked about it but it wasn't too difficult it was really a massive issue i had during uh this production um another issue i had is a very stressful production i'll be honest um it just it's the most timing ones and i had to do a lot of sequences and it's very difficult so what i basically done was i filmed a lot of sequences um there's like three or four versions of every sequence i think for like one sequence there's five just because it's really difficult because it's all about just the timing and stuff like that also another problem i had was uh natural lighting is a pain um as you can see the lighting's kind of weird in this area uh just because i'm on a hill um so the kind of solution I came around was like kind of working out natural angles and stuff like that. The film is meant to be very surrealist and kind of very dreamlike. So like when things like match up, that kind of adds into the film that I'm probably lucky enough to do. Um, but you know, like I tried to work out the right angle, lighting and stuff like that. Obviously the advantage is that I'm going to be colour grading the hell out of this because I'm going to be using a gamma colour grade on this. So it's not bright enough all the footage anyway. But I tried to make it nice and bright and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that was kind of like the problem solving. Um, overall, I think it's something good. I do think I might have to reshoot it. Basically, um, you might remember yesterday I said that I was going to edit tomorrow. I'm going to edit tonight um, and then do the VFX and other stuff tomorrow. Just because I think it will be easier. And then I've got the chance to reshoot. I don't know if it's going to work out. Um, I think it will, but it's one of those things where it's, just, it's the, the timing was very difficult on it. And I don't know if I worked out the perfect solution for that. But looking at my um, sheet, because I basically, I printed out the sheet, um, the music key sheet, so, so I could just get the timings right. Um, the rest of the sequences aren't too bad timing-wise. Um, no, it's one pretty easy. West End sequence kind of difficult, but that's a lot of close-ups, so that's all right. Um, and stuff like that. So I'm, hopefully when I get the West End and more difficult sequences done, then near the end it's much easier. So um, I don't know what I'm going to be tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's goal is to film all the voice, um, the voice, um, all the clips of that. Maybe edit some of them and stuff like that. Probably edit the one from the Mr. Blue Side sequence. Um, I'm also going to um, probably finish with the Mr. Blue Side. Oh, I'll add the VFX from Mr. Blue Side sequence. So we've got the sound beats as I'm experimenting with in experimentation. I'm going to add those in. So hopefully it should be good. Um, I will see you tomorrow when I give you another update. Okay, it's another update for me. Um, yeah, um, I've got home to look at the review of the footage and basically today was a bust. Um, ran into a bit of an issue. So, mo a lot of the footage is out of focus, mostly because what I didn't realise was... Um, I was getting pretty stressed out, to be honest, um, on this shoot, mostly because I forgot to eat. Um, that's something... You know, that's a problem. Um, so a lot of the footage is now actually out of focus. Um, so it basically meant that a lot of the footage is basically unusable. Um, so how am I going to kind of learn from today is um, I've actually... I'm kind of dealing with a lot of the uh, loo issues. So for example, one. The tripod I'm using, you might notice something weird about it. It's broken. Um, it can't... This leg is broken, meaning that you can only get shot up to this size, um, that's a problem. So I bought a new tripod, it should hopefully be here by Wednesday or Thursday, so um, that's good. Two, I'm gonna basically spend more time focusing, I'm gonna focus 
on each individual part of the film as a film itself. So up to this point I've kind of been focusing on an overall scale of Brendan is dead, but the new way I'm kind of dealing with it is I'm going to focus it as a, an actual film. So like, um, Brenda, the Miss Bruce High sequence, that is a film on its own. So I focus on that, get it, and you know, think of it more small scale. I think this doesn't really help me kind of be less stressed, uh, I'll be honest, because I'm getting kind of stressed about this. There is an issue I have, I do get very stressed very quickly. Um, so yeah, and also I'm going to make sure to check shots, stuff like that, um, make sure it's in focus, um, probably use all focus my own focus, stuff like that. Um, so tomorrow, um, just because of weather and stuff like that, I'm, I've got I haven't got time to film it, it today. Um, I haven't got time really to really make any logistical sense. So we're going to go back to the we're kind of going to go go back to the old production schedule. My plan is tomorrow um, I will film I will record all the voices used on rants in the college. Um, just make sure it's crisp audio. Um, I'll probably work on some of the more uh, VFX that are like less like in like like out of house kind of uh, what I basically mean is like you know like um, the Mr. B the Brennan's Dead title card that is going to be a separate PNG so I have to make that separate PNG so I'll make that tomorrow and I'll kind of work out more logistics and stuff like that and then hopefully Thursday Friday I will be filming and the hope is that I'm going to basically, my plan is now is to make sure I get all the more difficult scenes done first. So some scenes are more, they're not all built differently. They're built differently and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is kind of do it in order. Um, I'll probably do the Mr. Blue's high sequence because that's going to be a massive pain to film. Um, again, this time I'll make sure I, uh, uh, I'll make sure I'm focused on like that. And what I'll focus on is um, making it less high energy. I think this is where the issues kind of started this week. It's because I made it way too high energy to the point where, um, let's say like I've got a scene where I'm going from left to right. This scene, in this, it's, it's um, blanked out to be five seconds. The problem is if I do it high energy, A, it looks stupid, and B, it um, takes three seconds. That means the whole thing is out of, out of done, and now it just looks stupid. Whereas if I do it more slower and kind of more actual natural as the person's walking and stuff like that, I think it's going to look better and it's obviously not filled those five seconds. So that's what I'm going to do um, Thursday when I film the Mr. Blue Size sequence, or maybe Wednesday if I have time, um, is to really spend time on those kind of little, like make it more slow and stuff like that to maybe um, better accommodate my music cue plan. Because looking back on it, I think, and remembering when I made the music cue plan, I realised that I made it with the intention of being much more slower and less high energy than I am actually building it right now that creates issues and stuff like that. So yeah, um, also here's an update with the reflective vlogs. I'm going to be editing as I go, um, kind of. So um, I've already started the edit. Um, so I'll be adding to it and stuff like that and I think it'd be better than you know what I usually do is record and edit just because I'm recording and editing different times and stuff like that so yeah it's one of those things was today was basically a bus I'll be honest but it's one of those things I think I learned a lot and you know not every day can go successful it's always going to be problems and it's not about the problem it's about how I'm going to go from it you know I've got a new tripod I'm really going to try and focus on those shots um, on more of a mental health wise, I'm going to try and eat more and stuff like that and take more breaks and try and just get less stress about it. In the long term, I do have two weeks to film, you know, I'm a pretty fast editor, so I do have a long time to film. Filming, I did accommodate two weeks of filming, so I think I'll be alright. So yeah, um, I will give an update tomorrow when I've hopefully done, so to go, to go tomorrow is hopefully to get all the voices recorded and maybe some other stuff, like loot things for the film done. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, this is uh, Brendan. So this is another quick update. Um, it's not actually. It's still. Um, what's the day? So it is still Tuesday. Um, so I was kind of sitting here panicking about scheduling stuff like that and looking at my production schedule, and I realised it wasn't that good. So as you can see, I've got an image of my production schedule up now, and I'm just recording some sort of a voice memo. Um, I've decided to mess around the schedule a bit, as you can see. Um, I've divided up the film into six. Uh, sorry, six kind of nine chapters one and the voice um and i talked about this previous when um it's filed up in those nine chapters with the storyboarding and i've kind of put a, a planned filming day this will change um based on different factors it really depends on weather um some of these are weather dependent so the miss blue side sequence for example that is set outside so if it rains i cannot do that um other sequences you know 
timing if say a sequence go over time stuff like that and things like that this is kind of the ideal situation but as i've talked about previously i do have a long amount of time to film it's just you know this is an ideal and it can be flexible so just kind of break it down and to justify why i'm doing this is number one you've got the mist blue sky sequence i tried to film this today as i talked about it didn't go too well just because i think i just kind of rushed myself and got a bit too um you know a bit too much into it you know just a bit too to uh, two ahead let's just say so this will be filmed on the 28th uh, just to recap the 28th is thursday um the reason why i chose thursday is because i think i needed a day just kind of tomorrow and i'll use it to film the voice kind of get relaxed kind of really understand the film a bit better um the reason why i'm doing this first is because it's the most complex sequence i feel like it's visually it's a lot of timing it's the most timed out sequence and stuff like that so it's gonna be very difficult to film so i think it's best to get it done first also on the 28th i will be filming two other sequences these are very short sequences as you see from this board uh it's miscellany outdoors so this is literally just i think a couple of shots and nowhere to run outdoors and again this is a couple of shots the reason why i'm filming these today um on that day is because i just want to want to get them over and done with they're very short sequences they're only two scenes uh, they're pretty easy to do and i think it's just better to kind of get those short ones out and done um i'm really trying not to push myself i kind of agreed on a principle of only about three chapters per day because i don't want to push myself too much and i really want to spend a solid amount of time on these sequences especially the mr uh, mr blue side sequence that is a big sequence so then we go on to the 29th this will be friday the 29th uh, in this day, I'll be recording the music argument. Um, that again is a pretty complicated sequence. Um, visually, it's not as timed out as the Bliss Blue Side sequence, so it should be a bit easier. But you know, it is an important sequence, it's going to take a long amount of time. And I'll be also recording the West Anton sequence. The reason why I'm doing these two sequences is because they are outdoor sequences. Outdoor sequences are going to be the most difficult because outdoor sequences have a lot more kind of you know, like problems. As I've talked about my risk assessment, you've obviously got people, you've got environments, stuff like that. Most of the other sequences take place in my house, so timing's easier. Also, from a lighting perspective, um, outdoor sequences are much more of a pain because you've got natural light, you, it gets dark, if it gets dark, I can't film it and stuff like that, whereas indoor sequences, I use um, artificial lighting, so it's not a big deal. So yeah, I'll be recording the music arguments and stuff like that. And then Saturday the 30th, I decided to take off. Um, as I talked about in my reflective vlogs, um, I do get very stressed out very easily. And I think it's good to take a couple of days off to kind of go back and look back on the footage. And this day I'll kind of use as a day to look back on the sequence and stuff like that. And then the 31st, this is Sunday, will be the Nowhere to Run sequence uh, indoors. This is a kind of complicated sequence. Um, involves um a lot of lighting and stuff like that and obviously this can be filmed at any time because it's um, artificial lighting red lighting blue lighting stuff like that and it's an interesting sequence of film and then i'll also be recording the mr lonely indoor sequence that is again a very simple sequence the mr lonely sequence is probably the simplest sequence just because it's a lot more wider shots and a lot more big on the edit kind of sequence and then the first um this would be sunday the first i'll be screaming uh recording the all oh, we're all gonna die sequence again this is an indoor sequence a lot of simple shots very easy to do come like upset and stuff like that um i also be on this day just kind of checking footage going over it and making sure it's all kind of dipped up um looking all right so yeah this is a pretty simple sequence um relies on more visuals and stuff like that i can film this entirely in my room so don't need to worry about anything and then finally We've got the whole, the most difficult sequence, second most difficult sequence after Mr. Blue Side sequence, the Are You Happy sequence. The reason why it's the most difficult is because of a lot of timing and stuff like that. Um, that's why I've dedicated the entirety of Monday to it. This will be where I basically record it um, and stuff like that. Also, just a quick note, um, the voice is on here because the voice is a separate, isn't, it isn't a chapter, but it's an important part of the film. It's a separate thing. I'll be recording this tomorrow on the 27th. So, yeah, that's my new kind of production schedule. Um, I will change it around as I go and stuff like that. And it's not set in stone, but this is kind of where I'm at. Um, so, it's kind of helped me kind of calm down a bit and really kind of... I know what I'm doing now. So, hopefully, I can stick to this because of the schedule. And now, we're actually going to go on to the next day. I'm sorry for keep adding in these tangents but now actually i'll go on to the next day it will be um wednesday we'll be recording the voice audio
Hi, uh, this is Brendan. It is finally Wednesday. Um, here is an update of what I plan to do today. I plan to get the voice, um, <clears throat> the vo all the voice clips uh, recorded, maybe edit some of them, and then do a vi uh, work on the kind of VFX, um, psych VFX kind of assets, I would call them. So, like, for example, um, the biggest one being the, the title cards, stuff like that, that's going to appear on the screen, on I'll make those. Just kind of look at things to get it ready for tomorrow's filming. Uh, just a quick bit of problem solving. Um, I was originally using Marantz as talked about my equipment list. At the current time, Marantz is not available. Um, I won't. I don't know when it'll be available. So the plan is I'm going to use voice notes at the moment to record all the audio. And later on, if the Marantz is available, I will re-record the audio. Um, the reason why I want the voice notes now is because when I film tomorrow and Friday, it just makes the um, it makes it much easier to do because I have the voice. Um, I know timing and stuff like that, and also the voice notes actually do record pretty good audio, so it might it can be used for the um, main voice in the film. Currently in a classroom, the reason why I chose a classroom is because one, there isn't really much else where to film, and it's got a bit of an echo to it that I was looking to have with the audio. Also, it's incredibly quiet, so I don't have background noise or anything like that. So yeah, um, I will give you an update once I finish all the voice notes for the voice. Okay, um, I just got done with the recording. The recording didn't actually take that long, uh, mostly because most of the voices notes are um, only a single word or like a sentence or anything like that, so they're actually pretty easy to record. Um, so how I'd done it was I basically recorded it, um, I said it line about two to three times, um, just so I had a lot of options. And then for the sentence ones, the kind of short sentences, I read out each word individually just to kind of make the edit easier. It was pretty easy because most of it's like stop or you can't keep doing this. I did have some trouble at the end monologue that I found that, um, here's a bit of problem solving I've done, was I found that the script didn't really feel natural. I think on, on, there's a difference between writing something and reading it out, and when you read it, I read it out, it did not sound natural. So I decided to do a couple of different versions. So what I'd done was I'd done the original version, and done the word for word version, as I was talking about before, but I also done different takes and stuff like that, and I think I'd done three or four takes. So then in the edit, I've got some options and stuff like that. And when I get to filming the 4th of July sequence, that I think, if I remember back to my schedule, is the last sequence. It should be pretty easy. But overall, um, not a lot of issues with the voice recordings, apart from that small bit. The voice recordings are pretty easy, to be honest. Um, they're all voice notes. So um, the idea is that when I um, record the sequences, because I've got earphones in, I can play the voice note and then listen back to it so I know the timing, so it kind of feels more natural. Um, so next up, I'm going to be doing the VFX. Um, like kind of VFX shots, um, like as I talked about before, I'll probably do some other little things, kind of, today I'm just kind of using today as like a kind of doing all the small things, getting those out of the way, and then tomorrow and Friday I'll be filming. Hopefully I'll be getting equipment also today, because I think that the camera I currently have, I don't know if it's the best for what um, I want it for and stuff like that, especially the outside sequence that I talked about yesterday, we had focus issues, whereas if I get Sony, I think the focus issues shouldn't be too bad, especially from far away, the Miss Blue Sky sequence does require quite a lot. So yeah, that is my plan. I will give you a check up at the end of the day, um, probably in my own house or at the cottage, depending on timing and stuff like that, just kind of going over what I've done. Okay, here's another quick update. Um, schedule's kind of change. The PNGs took much quicker than I thought I could, thought they would, and um, I realised that for my work, I'm actually we got much to do until I get to filming. And there's this nice weather there before I take advantage of it, so I'm going to be filming the Mr. Blue Sky sequence. Uh, as I talked about yesterday, when I tried to film it the first time, um, I've got a different camera, and I've got quite a tripod. Uh, I've got a Sony NX, so it should be much better quality, and fixed a focus issue um, so yeah I'm going to try and get the Mr. Blue Side sequence filmed today and then basically what I'll do is everything will come forward today to my original schedule so I'll see you soon um, here's an update of how much of a, a more than I am um, two shots and I forgot one shot um, two shots out of focus one shot I forgot um, so I'm literally just rushing back to the same spot to re-record it uh, these aren't massive shots basically what happened was um, I was messing around with the focus for the shot of the um, phone because um, the phone light was different stuff like that um, and then the next shot after that I forgot to that actually fix the focus so basically it's out of focus so I'm going to quickly re-record that uh, those three scenes are not massive scenes to re-record actually pretty easy um, and then I will be done for today 
um, I'll probably work on some of the edit, um, just kind of timeline editing, so like raw editing. That's basically why I just kind of get all in the right timeline, I cut it down, stuff like that. And then I'll add the colour grade, and then basically once it's fully colour graded and music synced up and all that kind of shizzle, um, I will put it into After Effects to apply all the kind of kinetic um, energy kind of sound waves. So yeah, that's an update on where I'm at. Okay, just another quick small update. Um, I'm back home, um, I had work, so that's why it's kind of a, a bit of a time jump. Like in daytime, nighttime, you wouldn't know. Um, I've got all the recorded footage downloaded. Um, how I'm going to be doing this project is I'm going to be basically downloading onto an SSD a Z Slim. This is a sort of hard drive. Um, and I'll be having it in separate folders. So, for example, Mr. Blue Sky, here is all the footage. Um, I've looked through it, for example. Um, I'll give you an example of some of the footage. This is the reshot footage. As you can see, I mess around with the focus. Um, you know, I sort out that focus issue with my cleaner. I really do like this footage, to be honest. I really like the location. I think the new location is much better. I really like this kind of um, open kind of field. I'll show you a good example of this. You can see me. So this is it. This is a good example of, um, I really like this kind of open field. I feel like the green really plays well into the kind of themes of the movie um obviously here's a scene of me falling over that's hilarious um also small other update i have updated my reflective vlog i'm gonna say now ul i'm very sorry for this reflective vlog it, it's probably gonna be an hour S sorry so yeah tomorrow if we look onto the schedule one second let me just bring up the schedule let's just look at the schedule as you can see i've updated the schedule to say that's done. Um, tomorrow's goal is to get the Mr. Lonely um, outdoor sequence. Oh. Mr. Lonely outdoor sequence going, um, uh, and then no other other outdoor sequence. Um, I'm also thinking of trying to get the Mr. Lonely indoor sequence done because, as you can see, it's a very short sequence. It's actually a very easy sequence. So I'm thinking you may get the whole Mr. Lonely sequence done. Then that's just another chapter ticked off, and then going on to no other one. And then hopefully also I can maybe get the music argument sequence done. So priority tomorrow is going to be Mr. Lonely sequence. Um, nowhere to run outdoors sequence, try and get that done. And also the music argument. And then, and also the West Anderson sequence, I think you're getting done. I might move the West Anderson sequence over to um, Thursday. So the new schedule will be tomorrow Mr. Lonely slash nowhere to run Friday will be the West Anderson sequence, and then we're all going to die in Are You Happy sequences. There are indoor sequences, and Nowhere to Run sequence. They're all kind of indoor, kind of very much more visual based sequences I can do over the weekend. Um, so the plan is by the time that I go into college Wednesday next week, I hopefully will have all the footage on this SSC Slim and ready to edit. Um, I did talk about editing with the Blue Side sequence, but I think just for my mental health, and I think to the time I have, I think it's good to take breaks. So I'm not kind of take a break today leave it for today and then come tomorrow with um you know a bit more energy for the mr lonely sequence so i will see you tomorrow hi it's brendan okay it is friday um i actually forgot to film an intro for today and um due to my phone having storage issues at the moment um, I'm actually kind of difficult to film updates as I'm out and about. It's been a pretty busy day, so I didn't really find a moment to really film these kind of vignettes. So what did I do today? Um, firstly, I filmed the um, Mr. Lonely sequence completely. Um, so in the morning, I'd done the uh, first sequence of me walking out and stuff like that. Uh, and I done some other stuff, and then I'd done the outdoor sequence. That went pretty well overall. Um, most of the shots were fine, stuff like that. It's pretty clean. Um, I did have one small issue, and a bit of problem solving is... Um, uh, as I talked about in part of my sequence, part of the sequence was meant to be come from the mirror shot of my bathroom, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, so yeah, my bathroom is kind of small, um, so the plan was that I would basically put the um, tripod on here, uh, and then it would basically look this way into my room, and then like I could have a walking in shot. Um, here was the issue is, as you can see from the size of the tripod, wherever it is there, it is a very big tripod. Uh, and the camera, also a very big camera. Uh, this creates a lot of issues, as obviously I can't get it in there. So for those shots, I actually use this Canon 
camera that I'm using right now. The reason why I didn't use it for the entire shoot is because I think the quality is better on this one and also um, it's just easier with focusing and stuff like that. But for that quick shot, um, that was okay. Um, then I also filmed the music argument segment section um that went pretty well that was a pretty easy shoot because it was in one location it was a lot of kind of mixer shots and stuff like that and it wasn't as tight i actually enjoyed that um here's a bit of problem solving um the kind of ideal look i had i had in my head was a bit more busy than i thought at the time in the discovery center um just because the idea of the film is that there's not meant to be anyone in there like, there's not meant to be anyone in the background you can't see anyone that's the idea is that that area wouldn't have worked because there were a lot of people walking around, a lot of dog walkers, things like that. So I decided to problem solve it by going to a similar location. It actually worked out better, I think. That looked nice, nicer and stuff like that. So, um, overall, I think we're doing pretty well with the schedule. We're actually running a bit more ahead. Um, I also saw, I also sorted out the nowhere to run sequences that were outdoors. Um, as I talked about this, um, they are kind of very difficult sequences. They are very simple sequences, sorry say. Because uh, it was two sequences, um, it was the pre push steps that can be easily done in a one walking cross. So again, that's that done. Um, that just leaves nowhere to run indoors. Um, Wes Anderson sequence that is an outdoor sequence. We're all going to die. That's a pretty simple one. And are you happy? That's a very complicated one. Um, tomorrow is going to be a long day, so um, hopefully tomorrow I will get the Wes Anderson sequence done because uh, that's a good outdoor sequence and then I will finish up the nowhere to run sequence I think um, and maybe work on the we're all gonna die I think I can just do an are you happy sequence all together as one kind of big chunk but maybe if I finish by if I say West Island sequence in the morning I might do the are you happy sequence in the afternoon lately I've kind of been a bit more looser with my schedule um, like today I as I talked about yesterday, I was going to get different stuff done, but I decided to get kind of more outdoorsy stuff done, just kind of really capitalise on that kind of time space. Um, as you can see from the schedule I've made, I'm doing pretty good. Um, green means it's done, so I've filmed. I still haven't really edited anything, but that's because um, I'm kind of focusing on the kind of uh, edits and stuff like that, uh, video filming. Uh, I'll show some footage from the music argument, if it's going to load. So, yeah, I really like this kind of uh, location. Um, I think it's a, oh, that's not a very good example. That was a lot of the times, I'll be honest, I do kind of get quick shots, a lot of footage, and so I try to get multiple takes. I think this is like a good kind of shot. Um, obviously, this is going to be color graded. It's really, I think these film, this film to really come together in the edit. It's very rich edit heavy because obviously, this is something color graded. I think this exact sequence will be the creep sequence, so it'll be color graded black and white. Obviously, the music, stuff like that. Um, I'll show some more examples of kind of where I got with stuff and stuff like that. Um, You've got the Mr. Lonely sequence. This was this was a difficult sequence just because it was a residential area. Um, most of it's shot in Discovery or my room. This one's on a residential area. So I think this is a nice, clean, kind of simple shot. Um, the biggest the biggest thing that's really kind of coming an issue and really something I need to focus on is a small detail, but it's important. Uh, is the character actually having their earphones in? Um, I'll bring up some examples of where, like... For example, this um, I keep I keep kind of forgetting about the characters' earphones and stuff like that. Uh, this kind of shot here. Um, this is actually a very interesting shot. I try to do something a bit different here. This is the one actually shot on this camera. I try to do it very much more closer up and kind of this more personal kind of shot. That I think is kind of interesting. Um, a lot more outside, a lot more, a lot more rough, and then it will cut to a shot uh, that I still haven't actually uploaded because I completely forgot to upload that. But it will cut to it will cut to a shot. Oh, camera's going out of focus. It will cut to a shot from outside that will see the character moving around stuff like that. And I like the idea that all the sequences are very different in their style and stuff like that. So yeah, tomorrow is going to be kind of the Wes Anderson sequence. I'm not really trying. I've been, I've, I'll be honest. I've been trying to um, get more done. A lot more done than I sh uh, in a day than I would plan for, but I think Wes Anderson sequence, um, finish up the nowhere to run sequence, maybe get um, maybe start like we're gonna die sequence. Um, but the main focus will be the Wes Anderson sequence that is gonna be a big sequence. Um, so I will see you tomorrow when I work on that. 
Uh, I'm just reviewing footage now. I've run into a small bit of issues with the shots being out of focus. Again, this is something that's kind of, I think, is a massive issue mostly just because I'm acting and starring in it. And it's difficult for me to kind of make sure shots are in focus and still keep happening. Tomorrow I'll definitely try and keep more of a focus on this. Um, so for the pun. Um, so some shots are okay or like I can get away with. So because this shot, for example, um, this is a shot that I think I can get away with for two reasons. One, it is a tiny shot in the grand scheme of the thing. Even for this sequence, it is a two second shot. So that means that basically um, it really doesn't matter like... Uh, you know, like not say it doesn't matter, but it's two seconds, so it's not big deal. Also, this will be VFX very much and stuff like that. So, um, we're a VHS kind of look, um, as I because I make break my stride bit, so it kind of makes sense if it's a bit blurry and stuff like that. And I can use sharp and kind of hide it basically in the edit, it won't come through your right. Uh, next shot that's out of focus is this running shot, uh, where I run towards the camera again. This is um, this actually works, I think, pretty well because basically the idea was that it would be a run shot and then it would cut to a close up. So when it's running, it's kind of meant to be out of focus and kind of very kind of blurry. I think plays into it. Um, so cut it there and then we go to this shot here. This is where the problem is, and this is the main issue that I'll be fixing tomorrow. This should not be out of focus. Um, this should be better focused. Um, so tomorrow what I'll do is I'll go back to the exact same location, I'll take a picture um, and hopefully be able to sort this out. Uh, if the weather or something like that isn't the same or doesn't look the same when I compare it, I'll just reshoot. But I'm hopeful that I can do it. Um, uh, and then the other sequences are fine in this area. So... Um, Yeah, that's I mean they're all fine stuff like that. So the plan is to reshoot number twelve in this kind of sequence. Um, so yeah, that's a bit kind of problem solving on the fly. Is I'm gonna go back to this location, I'll take a picture for reference, um, and hopefully you'll reshoot this scene. It's kind of a pain, but it's one of those things where I'd rather reshoot this scene. Um, an alternative plan I'm thinking of also doing is just cutting out the line because it's only a line where it says stop. I would have done that, but I feel like um, it's the I need that in between bit from the running to the um, like him falling over to make sense and stuff like that, where it'll just look weird in the edit. So yeah, I'm gonna reshoot number twelve tomorrow. Um, I will also I thinking now now that I'll reshoot num this one too, just to kind of add so it looks more authentic and stuff like that. I don't want to just you know thing on that. And I'll reshoot the running one. So I will basically take reference images. Um, I'll go back to the exact location. Um, it's very kind of the location looks mostly the same. Um, where I shot, for example, you know the end bit, that looks that's pretty easy to find um, location-wise. And also surrealism, kind of you know I can use a bit of editing magic to kind of get away with it. So yeah, that is just kind of update on problem solving um, for tomorrow. So yeah, I'll add that onto the list tomorrow. Hi, it's Brendan. It is uh, day four, technically three college days. Um, so as I talked about last night, I had problems with the footage for the musical argument. So I decided to come back to the spot and refilm the entirety of it. I uh, did not actually take it long, only I think about half an hour, 40 minutes. That's pretty good. Like yesterday it took me about an hour and a half. Mostly because I know where the shots are, stuff like that. Um, I made sure to keep it in focus. Um, I went over all the footage, I made sure that it's in there, so that's a bit of problem solving I've done. Um, I did have a slight bit of problem solving, where I had people in this area that I didn't realise because it's early in the morning, so you got dog walkers, but that doesn't really be a big deal. Um, also had a bit of problem solving with how I basically worked out location. As I was talking about yesterday, I was a bit annoyed about location and everything that makes spatial awareness. So I worked it out was, because um, I got two sets of earphones, because um, earphones are a big prop in this. I use one set to basically put on the ground whenever I stop so I have a mark and I just worked around that. So yeah, uh, the plan is now I'm going to go home, reel off all the footage for the music argument, just check for it all, then I will change outfits for the Wes Anderson sequence, film the entirety of the Wes Anderson sequence and then probably go on a break and then um, 
that would be all the outdoor sequences done. So now I'll start working on uh, more of the simpler ones. So uh, you're all gonna die. Um, it's probably gonna be the next one, just because it's a very simple one. Um, and then that will just give you the are you happy and nowhere to run sequences that are more difficult. Um, are you happy is most complicated. So I'm planning to do that maybe Sunday in all one package. Uh, and then uh, the uh, nowhere to run sequences require it to be a bit darker so I can use the red lights to kind of get those secrets looking better so I'll probably do that later on in the day so I will send you an update later on Hi, right, Brendan, this is another update I'm getting to the location to shoot the Wes Anderson sequence um, the original location I wanted to use Wes Anderson sequence I ran into two issues with one uh, it's right next to a road that means it's kind of loud not a big deal as I'm cutting out all the audio but two um, it's a pretty big gate area so a lot of people are going to it so i'm going to a similar spot that's hopefully here yeah um here as you can see still kind of looking for i was looking for a gate where it's more closed off out of the way of people you know don't want to serve anyone um also a bit of problem solving i couldn't find the original outfit you might remember back in planning i talked about how i wanted to have the outfit be a blue uh like buttoned up shirt um i couldn't find that um, so I've gone with this blue kind of, um, it's got blue accents to it, jumper. I still think this plays into Wes Anderson style. Uh, I looked at like Wes Anderson films, I looked in research, stuff like that. So it does, it does count as like a Wes Anderson, I'm trying, I'm trying to get a nice shot. It does count as like a Wes Anderson kind of thing. So I think it should be all right. Uh, so yeah, the plan is to shoot the Wes Anderson sequence now. Uh, go home, reel off footage, check through it, and um, that'll be all the outside sequences done. Um, as I talked about, outside sequences are the most difficult because lots of sunlight, things like that, people, uh, stuff like that. So yeah, uh, doing pretty good. Also, I went through the music album footage, and it's all okay. Um, it's all ready to kind of um, be uh, um, edited, stuff like that. It's all in focus, all looking uh, very clean, stuff like that. So yeah, I will just get ready. Sequence and I'll give you an update when I'm done. Alright, uh, this is another update from Brent uh, for me. Um, I put you the, the Are You Happy sequence done. Um, I'm actually really proud of myself. Um, uh, I think I talked about this today and a lot of the, the other days. Is that I didn't think I could get this done because it's a very chunky thing. But um, I realised I had a lot more extra time than I thought. I was much more ahead of schedule. And I had this, you know, like, um, I was really getting into it. I was kind of doing really well. I'd done the West Anderson sequence and stuff like that. So I thought I'd take a crack at it. Um, and I think I'd done really well. Um, there's a couple of um, challenges to this one. It's, this is all about lyric timing. The other ones, um, so Mr. There's on, Mr. Blue Sky was all about kind of timing actions. It's more about lyrics. There's a little bit in, like, you know, the West Anderson sequence, but this is very important because you had to kind of very much time it and stuff like that. Um, and I think I've done really well. Um, I think I really timed it well and stuff like that. How I, I actually changed it slightly of how I wanted to do it. So you might remember back in the plan, it was originally on me sitting on a chair. I decided to change it to sitting on my bed just because um, the amount of room and stuff like that, and I'm pretty tall, it actually worked out better. Um, you had a lot more kind of, as you can see here, got a lot more space across the top that I really wanted to kind of add the text and stuff like that to make the text clearer. So that's like a little change I made of realizing, hey, you know, that works better and stuff like that. Um, what I really like is the kind of darker scenes, um, these scenes. Um, I didn't think it would work out in the planning, but I really like how this is the only, the lights coming from the monitors and kind of projecting onto this person. I think that's really interesting and really interesting visual. Um, so, yeah, I think it's really good. Like, um, overall, there wasn't a lot of issues with it. Um, I also got the outside sequences done. I think I mentioned that I might not get these done but I decided to quickly get them done they're not that difficult um an interesting thing I've done was with this is that um as you notice these are two exact same shots one with me one without in the edit I'll be basically um using this shot to make me disappear it's part of the um kind of plot line I think that's uh, this is a little thing so yeah overall I think the are you happy things went pretty well there was little bits of problems from here and there like the tripod um kind of broke um it it's kind of very difficult tripod to use just because I'm not used to using it so I kind of had to fix that um, lighting was an issue uh, I ran into a problem especially with this sequence that originally the blinds weren't closed and things like that whereas I found that <coughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> 
sorry about that. With the blinds closed, it made it made it look darker and it kind of projected light on it. Um, so that's kind of how I used it. And I actually used um, a soft box to kind of create this weird kind of um, effect to the footage, the more kind of darker kind of contemplating footage like here and stuff like that. Um, so I think that was like, you know, that was kind of like one of the problems I had, but it kind of helped out the film massively. So um, my plan is basically um, I want to get all of this and this, I want to get it ready for edit by Wednesday or Monday. So all I've got left, if I look at the sheet, is now that I've done the wheel going to die and are you happy, it's just the... Um, nowhere to run indoor sequences surrealism ones um i plan to get that done over the weekend i will do an update at the weekend i think it's making this reflect vlog it's a big chunky one for the filming i'm sorry about that so yeah i will put that over the weekend hopefully um i'll have all the footage ready for monday and then editing when um wednesday through friday and have like a first draft done by next month next next monday so yeah, that's um, where I'm at. Uh, I'll give you an update once I've gone the nowhere to run outdoors uh, indoor sequence. I think I'm just taking today off and Saturday off and then Sunday I'll do it, but I might do it Saturday. But I'm definitely taking today off because I'm really proud that I got this um, Are You Happy sequence done. So yeah, that's just, just a quick little update. Hi, this is Brendan. I just got done filming uh, most of the indoors um nowhere to run sequence, uh, most of the important parts. So just kind of recap some problems I may have. Problem one was I couldn't really find the exact location where I wanted to film the scenes where it's kind of lit and stuff like that. So what I actually done was um, I used my um, dining room. As you see, there's a big red wall here. I should just put that, I took that photo down. But basically I've shoved myself up against this, had two lights here, one, two, and then shot all the red scenes here. I think it really works out well with a nice red wall, it's good contrast and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that was a problem where I didn't really have the right location, kind of worked around that. Um, also I had a problem where I had a um, same kind of problem with the location, is I wanted someone to shoot against a blue wall. I don't have a blue wall, I have a kind of cream wall, and I think that works better because it's kind of more mutual, and I use blue lighting again. So I use these blue lights here, and I put a blue colour gel on it, same for the red ones, red colour gel. So that's where problem solving. Um, let's go into the, big, the biggest problem solve. Uh, and that was the knife sequence. Um, I talked about this a lot in the risk assessment um, planning and all that. The knife sequence is a very important scene uh, for the story and stuff like that and kind of adds into that surrealism. But obviously it's a knife, you have to be careful. So what I'd done was I actually attached, you might see um, the jacket I'm wearing looks really weird. That's because I use a sponge with the knife wound ready cut out and I cut a knife wound into my shirt and then what I basically done was I filmed the footage with me with my half my jacket off so it looked like a different hand on this arm because it's a different colour um, and then I stabbed myself and then pulled it out and the idea is in the edit I'll reverse the footage to make it look like it's coming in to the um, chest wound so yeah that's a bit of problem solving I've done um, also no problem so I done I decided to get rid of DC to change the scene of the people kind of laughing and stuff like that there are meant to be other people in the film to just myself laughing because I think it makes more sense thematically and I feel like it look a bit weird if you had like different people and stuff like that coming into the film just this sequence so I think you're just cutting it out instead of just adding in the laughing stuff like the end there's that surrealist element um, so next up I'm going to film the um, just last bits of the Noah to Run sequence, so him falling into the bed and then him waking up and then him turning to go into the music argument bit. I'll give you an update when I get onto that because I've actually got kind of a clever idea of what I want to do for lighting for that sequence. So yeah, uh, that's another update. Hi, this is Brendan, this is an update. Um, I just filmed uh, the rest of the Nowhere to Run uh, uh, indoor scene. I don't know, lighting's a bit weird at the moment. Um, so there's a shot in the film that involves the character basically falling back into bed and um, I started thinking about this shot a lot more and I realised that it was kind of boring compared to the other sequences and because I'm a man fan um, I wanted to incorporate lighting a lot more because as I talked about lighting is a massive part of the sequence so what I've done is basically built this device you can't really see it the lights aren't on hey Google to the main light Right, um, I'll turn off the lights on here but basically what I have done is I have a, an attached via um, electric tape 
to the light two of the um, lights onto it with a red and blue color gel and the idea is that when it's falling it's a mixture of red and blue and as you see from the outfit it's a mixture of both those outfits I think it creates this really interesting visual style and the idea is it falls ending with that character closing their eyes and then the next sequence that kind of in between sequence between this and the music argument starts with them opening their eyes I think it's just a really good, cool bit of problem solving um, also a bit of problem solving is that um, I'm doing this alone um, I think I talked about this about the film um, throughout the kind of making of this I'm doing this alone this is a difficult shot to do alone because basically it involved me holding the tripod um, and falling backwards that's kind of dangerous so what I've done is I've done it very slowly and the idea is in the edit I can kind of speed it up or you know slow down or do whatever um, also now the problem is the plugs it needs to be plugged in for the lights to work so um, yeah that's a bit of problem solving um, now I'll go into kind of a kind of a week app of the week problem uh, talk about target view and so I saw target for next week I'll try and keep that short because dear god it's just for like vlogging on nearly be an hour uh, I'm really sorry about the URL <laughs> Hi, this is Brendan. Um, I will keep this brief as a reflective vlog has gotten kind of long, but um, let's just kind of go over pros and cons of this week do the target review and target. Um, I think pro is my problem solving and resilience. I think throughout this week, I think you've seen this throughout the reflective vlog, I don't think I need to repeat myself, I've been very resilient. Uh, for example, Tuesday I had a filming problem. I came back on Wednesday, knocked out, you know, refilmed, stuff like that. Um, I would admit that, you know, a lot of stuff was out of focus and stuff like that, but I always came back, I always persevered. I got a lot of um, stuff done, I've done it all by myself, it was actually my, very much a challenge. Um, I really think I really kind of innovated and stuff like that. I really think I adapted well to situations, um, for example, West and the Wes Anderson sequence, the, the right location I realised on the shoot wasn't what I was looking for. So instead of, you know, giving up, I found it. A location that I think personally worked better, or for example, just now with the um, Noah to One sequence, I was very innovative and thought, How can I make this scene look better and more visual? and I came up with an interesting idea, and I think it works out. So, yeah, that's my main pro this week is that kind of resilient problem solving and all that. Um, con, I would say, is the out of focus issue. You know, I think it's happening because I'm the one shooting in front of the camera instead of me behind where I can focus on the focus and stuff like that and obviously this isn't a target that I can con that I can kind of fix now because I'm done with filming for SF and P but I think this is something I'll keep in mind in the future is that in future projects uh, when I go into apprenticeships and stuff like that is to kind of really fight, make sure I focus on the little details like the focus and try to maybe get more actors and stuff like that would help me kind of solution this problem so yeah, I'd say the main con is that kind of focus issue and just making sure that the footage is all right, all in focus and stuff like that. Because there was a lot of shots that I had to refilm, and I've talked about this sort of throughout this reflective vlog that I had to refilm and stuff like that that creates issues overall. So last week's target was to get 50% of the film done. Um, as you can kind of gather from how long this reflective vlog is and how much I've talked about filming and stuff like that, I actually got 100% done. Uh, the reason why... Um, so if we go back to the project proposal um, and the production schedule that's been out of the window, I put two weeks of filming thinking that filming would take longer than it did. And I think once I got into the groove of filming, I really got really into it. And I think once I get really into the filming, it's really easy for me. So I was able to get it all done. Um, so yeah, now I've got more time to edit. And I think as the edit was a big part of this film, um, as I talked about throughout this time, Reflective vlog editing is a massive part. Every film has to be color graded. We've got sound effects. We've got, you know, the voice has to be modulated. Things like that. We've got visual effects. There's tons of editing going on. It's, I think it's better for me overall that I have that little bit more time to edit. So I can make a much cleaner, uh, a much more interesting edit. So um, what's the target for next week? Um, next week target is, now that I have two weeks to edit, what I, my plan is for next week is I want to have a rough version of the film ready. Um, so what I call a timeline edit a timeline edit is where everything's in time with the music but I haven't done things like colour grading or VFX yet and they're kind of the aftermath I really want that to be kind of ready as like kind of a rough cut so I can kind of show people more like hey this is what I'm doing do I need to cut down things stuff like that and um, ready and then this week after I can do the VFX after effects colour grading stuff like that but again if I do have time I may 
color grade sequence and stuff like that. One specific sequence will be different um, the Mr. Blue's High sequence because that needs to be done on its own so it can be after effect. So I'll probably try and get that sequence done. So the goal is to get that sequence done after affected. No, I mean like color graded, ready for after effects week after, and then have the rest of the scene kind of timeline edited. So yeah, um, that's in this week. Very difficult week. Filming is always very difficult, um, and as you can see by this reflector vlog, very long week. So um, thank you for watching through this.